Good afternoon. I'm going to present to you one of our studies regarding the isolation of the bioluminescent bacteria. So I have here a model of the experimental system. Um, the first um, model that they use for the isolation of the vibrio species or the bioluminescent bacteria is the bacterial squeeze. So what happens here is that the vibrio fissurae or the vibrio species is being eaten by the bacterial squid as a source of food. Meantime, the vibrio species is producing the luminescence in order for it to be eaten by the predator, which is the bacterial squid, because it needs nutrients coming from their gut. On the other hand, the bacterial squid is using the luminescence to lure their predators so that they will not be eaten by their predators. Bioluminescent bacteria produce their luminescence via coron sensing, meaning to say they should have enough number in order for, for this species to glow. So in the process, there is the so-called signal in the receptor so that the DNA will be able to produce a metabolite to produce the luminescence. Here is an example of luciferin and luciferase. So the luciferin that you see there is embedded into the cell. It reacts with the luciferase so that the oxygen will be embedded into the luciferin to make it glow. In our studies, we are collecting several marine species from all over the Philippines. Um, meantime, we have some species coming from Bolinao, from Lingayen, from Olongapo, and from Bataan. We also tried to collect specimens from the Pampanga River. Unfortunately, we were not able to isolate some. We also have some specimens coming from Puerto Princesa, as well as um, Iloilo. So these are just examples of the marine fishes that we are using for the isolation of bioluminescent bacteria. So what we do is that we dissect the marine species uh, in their gut so that we can isolate bioluminescent bacteria. So the first study that we conducted is the anti-nosocomial property of the cytosolic and the membranous fragment of bioluminescent bacteria extracted from several marine fishes. So we, we checked the anti-nosocomial property against E. coli and that of the Staphylococcus aureus. We identified using the 16S RNA gene that of the different bioluminescent bacteria extracted from the different marine species using the um, membranous fragment and the cytoplasmic fragment. So in the first study that we have, we have different vibrio species isolated. We also have studies on the effect of the luminescent bacteria with regards to the presence of heavy metals. So we use heavy metals coming from soil and water, such as aluminum sulfate, arsenic trioxide, and zinc sulfate. We also have manganese sulfate and silver nitrate tested for luminescence. So the effect of this uh, heavy metals on the luminosity of the bacteria is um, quite amazing because after the application of the heavy metals, um, after a few hours, they, um, they can develop again their luminescence. So in this study that I'm presenting now, we collected some of the bioluminescent bacteria <coughs> coming from the marine fishes, such as that of the stingray, the loro, the mamao, the eel, victory, and that of tarian. So here is the identification of the marine fishes coming from Olongapo City. This is identified by the Bureau of Fisheries. 
So the isolation of the bioluminescent bacteria is presented here. Um, during the isolation, normally we can isolate the bioluminescent bacteria after 24 hours, but sometimes it varies just like that from Lingayen. So the bioluminescent bacteria from Lingayen can glow three hours after swabbing. <coughs> so here you will see that there are some of the bioluminescent bacteria from the gut that glow after 36 hours. So these are the swab bioluminescent bacteria from the different species that we collected in this study. The parts of the bioluminescent, that, uh, bioluminescent, bioluminescent bacteria that we uh, swab is normally from the gut, the eyes, and the skin. But as you see there, most of the bioluminescent bacteria isolated were from the gut of the fishes. So these are examples of the plates that we have in the lab. So here is the result of the partial uh, sequencing from PGC of our samples. So most of them are photobacteria. The references is for the study. Thank you very much.